वेलकम टू माय व्यूज एंड न्यूज अ क्विक करेक्शन बिफोर दिस वीडियोस न्यू स्टोरीज इन द लास्ट वीडियो आई सेड दैट फ्रॉम अमहारा रीजन वन कैन ओनली रीच अ फार थ्रू ओरोमिया स्पेशल जोन करेक्शन यस यू कैन रीच अ फार फ्रॉम नॉर्थ वोलो फ्रॉम साउथ वोलो टू from Valdia there is a main road uh, i have been covering uh, the conflicts in these areas but somehow i missed uh, so yes you can reach afar uh, from amhara uh, via several roads now uh, three main new stories for you is firstly large number of amhara special force members uh, have left their camps now it has been confirmed by top amhara leader who was interviewed a few hours ago by amhara state media secondly viewers uh, what is overall situation in amhara region today were there any protests today any roads blocked what happened and thirdly tagrai where theft from aid organizations of warehouses is being reported it is being confirmed by world food program stolen aid is being sold in markets firstly viewers uh, amhara special force members uh, were told to hand over their weapons at wet weapon storage sites a letter was written by uh, special force logistics department to all units uh, that letter was leaked somehow and that led to start of uh, protests in the amhara region letter was obviously delivered to all branches all units of amhara special force after that what happened how many amhara special force members are still at the camps where they are stationed and how many have left amhara regional president yelkal gefale in two of his messages asked uh, amhara special force members to return to their camps so, so that was uh, a piece of evidence that special force members had left the camps question is how many left the camps how many are still stationed at camps now uh, an amhara prosperity party leader has shared some details his name is girma yishitela girma yishitela is not only a top a prosperity party member he is executive committee member but he is also a top amhara pp leader too Uh, i think it's from shaw and girma jitela yesterday was interviewed by amhara state media he says 30% of the total amhara special force members have left camps where are they no one knows uh, are they planning uh, to wage uh, to launch organized resistance will they return to camps how many have returns no one knows this number is a big number it means that uh, thousands have left camps and these thousands are uh, in public or they are uh, in some secret places uh, trying to organize and trying to launch resistance Uh, gondar city government confirmed two days ago that uh, large number of amhara special force members from other regions had entered gondar i think large number of them are in gondar large number is in gondar uh, that is why amhara uh, gondar city government uh, had to issue statement asking these uh, Uh, amhara special force members to report at newly established camps have they reported i don't think so uh, let's see uh, it, it means that uh, main problem for uh, amhara regional government is to ensure that all asf members at camps hand over their weapons and those 
who have left the camps, they must return to camps and hand over weapons. Secondly, viewers, uh, what is overall situation in the Amhara region today? Were there any protests? Uh, were any roads closed by protesters? What is the situation of intercity transport? I could not confirm any big protests in Amhara region today. Partly due to security restrictions and partly due to a plan, I think. There was no plan to hold any protests in any city of the Amhara region today. So, uh, in uh, Vuldiya, Kobo, Kambolcha, Bahirdar, Gondar, Debre Morkos, Debre Birhan, we could not confirm any big protest today. Having said that, uh, it's not that everything is back to normal. Things are returning to normal, but still roads remained closed in some places, like in Bahirdar in Debre Marcos, in Kambolcha, some roads were closed. Ethiopian National Defense Force, Federal Police are patrolling the cities. They are trying to ensure the cities return to normalcy. So it will take some time. Intercity roads open through Debre Birhan, through from Romia to Bahedar uh, through Dajan, both roads open. Uh, in Gondar, there is uh, no protest, no main roads closed, and uh, intracity traffic uh, has not been suspended. So, overall, we, we can say situation is getting better, things are improving. Uh, no protests, no confrontation, Ethiopian army patrolling the cities. It does not mean that everything is back to no normal. It could be a plan. This uh, today's uh, a peaceful atmosphere could be a sign of uh, a break. That these protesters, they want a break and they are planning second phase, which could happen reportedly. Secondly, viewers, uh, thirdly, viewers, uh, Tegarai. Tegarai, where people are being supplied with food aid, a uh, uh, new story from Tegarai. World Food Program written, has written a letter to its aid partners, to its humanitarian partners. The letter is dated 5th of April. So, almost a week ago, WFP wrote a letter to its partners like USAID, like others who are providing aid to people in Tigray. World Food Program says that uh, food aid is being sold at markets. It means food aid is being stolen from the warehouses of aid organizations in Tigray. WFP did not share any details, but some sources claim that a warehouse of uh, an aid organization uh, was the place from where aid was stolen. Aid sufficient for around 100,000 people was stolen from this warehouse in Shiraro town. Shiraro is on Tagarai Eritrea border. And it was one of the last towns from where Eritreans withdrew uh, more than a month ago. Now, Shiraro, for more than a month, I think, has been under the control of Tagarai administration. And if from Shiraro warehouse, which was being supplied aid by US aid, if from Shiraro aid has been stolen, who is responsible? Who is responsible for the security of this warehouse? Uh, when war was ongoing, third round of fighting in Tagarai, back then uh, some sources reported that Eritrean military uh, had stormed the warehouse in Shiraro and food aid was stolen. This is second 
theft from this warehouse in Shiraz, and that stolen uh, food uh, food items are being sold at markets in Tigray. If Tigray government is responsible for the security of the warehouse, obviously Tigray government will have to be held accountable. But if the security is being uh, overseen by uh, aid organization, that means that aid organizations are complicit in this theft. That is why such a large amount of food aid has been stolen from warehouses in Tigray, especially in Shiraz. Take food.